Hi everyone. I'm on page 44 of the Prep B and students are learning the new concept of what a tide note is. And they're learning a fabulous piece by Timothy Brown called Vikings. So the best way to teach a new concept is to teach it through discovery learning. And that means that the student hears the new concept, experiences the new concept, and then later they can learn the definition as well as see the symbol for the tie. So to begin a wonderful concept like this, I would say to my students, I'm going to play the first two measures in two different ways. And I'd like for you to tell me what you hear that is different. So here's number one. And here's number two. And if your student can't hear the difference, then just repeat what you just did. you didn't replay the left hand the second time around. And then you can explain to them, yes, you want to go ahead and try that? Why don't you hold on to that left hand fifth, the C and the G for not just four beats, but eight beats. And this is what is called a tied note. So when you see two exact same notes and you have a slur over them, that means they're tied. Then the students are really excited, excited to learn this new concept and they are ready to go ahead and tap it first. One, two, three, four. 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 Very good. So that's why I said in the practice steps, circle the tide notes and then play them, okay? And then plan the only skip. And where is the only skip or the only third in this entire piece? <gasps> Do you know where it is? It's in the first measure, isn't it? So we can have our students pick up their pencil and circle the E to the C on beats three and four of measure one. Tap and count out loud. And then I think, I think our students are ready to play this slowly. So I think I'm going to play the teacher part as well as the student part together. One, two, three, four. What a great piece for a beginner level student. The next page is in the ocean, just a basic, wonderful activity where the students learn, uh, or really they're just reviewing their note names up to this point. And when they put in the correct note names, then there's a little story behind the entire, the entire um, activity page with all these lovely seahorses and fish and octopus and squid and a starfish, of course. So students really love this. Fill in the name of the notes to complete this story. So there was a very important Chinese philosopher who said, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. I love that quote because that's what discovery learning is.